remember last week when I started the vlog with guess who gave birth this weekend and you were like is it you and I was like no well guess who gave birth this weekend me I did guess what I did yesterday had a baby baby pearl is with us and she is beautiful and today Monday is our first full day with her um we are taking her to the doctors because I had a home birth um, which is my first home birth because Darcy was born in a hospital and um, she has to be checked by a GP not really sure what for but that's what we that's our outing for today um, I will be doing a home birth story labour and delivery style video when I get to it obviously all my time at the moment is looking after a newborn baby with Liam so um, I don't know when I'm going to film that but we filmed a few bits of the birth Liam picked up the camera as and when. I was like fully in the zone. So I thought that I might vlog some bits here and there, but like, no, I didn't. But he got some good shots. So thank you, Liam, for that. And I'm sure that video will be coming to you in the next few weeks. Um, but so far, so good. This morning I let everyone know online that Pearl was here. I kept it to myself yesterday because we just wanted a day just to like bed in with it. And everyone's been so nice. I'm on like a... I feel very well loved, put it that way, I just feel like very like, mm. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go downstairs and pack a change bag and get Pearl ready and get very gingerly, oh, into the car. She was a nine pound three baby, as a big baby. Pearly girl is asleep right next to me and I'm packing her bag. So I thought I would show you what we're gonna pack for her first ever um, trip out. Um, it's the little doona one that goes with the doona car seats, like the mini version. We're only going to the doctor's, so I'm not going to overpack. But the first thing I am going to pack is her red book. We got given this this morning. My midwife came over and she picked it up from the hospital for us. So it's got some paperwork with it as well. So we're going to pack that. Um, a change of outfit just in case there's an accident. We've got a vest and a sleep suit. I'm keeping her in sleep suits this week, and probably the next week, and the next week, and the next week. Um, a couple of nappies, some water wipes, a little muslin square. Um, what else are we going for? Um, for me, taking a load of maternity towels. I don't know whether I'll unpack a couple. I'm doing two at a time at the moment, like one and then one like that. Um, it's only one day postpartum, so we need them. Um, she's going to wear a little hat, a little cardi, and I'm going to strap her into the seat. Lots of you last week, or when I showed a pram suit, were like, do I ever strap her in a car seat with a pram suit? I know, don't worry. And obviously a blanket, and also a bottle, because she is going to be due a feed by the time we get there. I think I'll just get this out of the way on the first day of the first, like, talking about baby thing. I am bottle feeding. Um, I know that breast versus bottle is just such a like minefield of people's opinions. Um, and I would just very kindly ask that uh, either either just say something positive or don't say anything. I'm very comfortable and confident in my decision. I've got a lot of reasons behind it. Um, and anybody that breastfeeds, I commend you. Anyone that bottle feeds, I commend you. Uh, I just think you feed your baby. Oh. Oh, you feed your baby um, the way that's, that's best for your family. So that's what we're doing. Maybe I'll talk about this in a later video, but I feel really scared saying that because I know that quite a lot of people will like, potentially think badly of me, um, and that's nerve-wracking for me. So there we are. Well, I said it now, otherwise I couldn't always edit out shots of feeding her and stuff, but a bottle i've done it to three ounces she is only taking two ounces at the moment but i felt like this panic of like what if we're out and she wants another ounce and i don't have another ounce so um i've done three ounces in there um and that is it yes that is it she's sleeping currently Ooh, she's so cute i'll show you her here i am just having a little snoozy snooze a little snoozy snooze of these rosy cheeks. Yes, she's a blondie. Yes. <laughs> First doctor's visit. Oh, she's 
like I'm so relaxed. I was so cuddled. You can be the bad guy that does it because she hates it. She gets really upset. Oh, that's all right. Sorry. That's it. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, she's so, hungry. When did she have yeah. I just gave her a little bit in the reception, but she's she eats all the time. All right. She's like a mother. Fantastic. Well oh, done, you pass. Fresh ones. We've, um, the doctor was great, she's absolutely fine, blah blah blah, um, and then, not blah 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 to our daughter's house, but it was fine, and now we've come to the supermarket to get some supplies quickly, and I just went, oh, we can park in the baby and um, parent spaces, and Liam was like, yes, my time has come at last. I, it was funnier to happen, wasn't it? I've not explained that nearly as funny as it was, have I? Sounds a bit dull now, doesn't it? Sounds sound a bit dull. These are the things that float your boat when you've just had a baby. Oh, speed bump. Yep. Just do it. They're all taken up. Ooh wee. Nine pound three, baby. Oh, they're all taken up. All our glee. I'm going to demand they show me their baby. What, well, all of them? Yeah. <coughs> Coughing hurts. Should we knock on all their windows and, like, show us your car seats? Yeah. Why don't we just park here? It's still at the front, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm just going over here. Great. So this is your first shopping trip, Pearl. She's so chilled, isn't she? Yeah. So easy to take out. She's like, yeah. I'm chilled. I'm cool. You crack on. Get some ready meals. Yeah. This is my favourite common garden soup, if you're interested, is wild mushroom. And also the New England butternut squash. From glorious is glorious. Just oh look, root vegetable soup with pearl barley. Uh, it's a simple thing, isn't it? So babies can only see faces that are really close to them, like literally from like your lap to your face. But we bought this book for her. She's like having such a look at it. Look at that. Look at that. And she's like, yeah, I'm done with literacy. That's enough booking for me, thanks. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's almost as good as Mummy's book. Mm. Oh, hi. Just hanging out. Relaxing, maxing, all cool with my newborn baby. This is how we like to sit. A bit of skin to skin. And then, obviously, I'm freezing, so I've got a little blanket around me. And it goes around her, and she's got her own blanket on as well. It's just nice, isn't it? Look at her in there. Mm. She's so tiny and snuffly and squawky and lovely. Like a little, like a lovely pudding. Yes. Oh, I'm finally understanding what that newborn bliss feeling is. Like when people say, oh, enjoy the bubble and enjoy, enjoy those few days and with Darcy's delivery because it was so traumatic and such a different experience that I sadly didn't really enjoy those days. I found them very hard um, and I think a lot of women find the first week not blissful at all and obviously it's only my first first second day so you know tomorrow could be completely different but I always remember hearing everyone talk about like oh enjoy those the baby bubble and um, you know all that sort of stuff and thinking I don't get it and then feeling so depressed I didn't get it and feeling robbed of it so I just want to say if anybody out there 
has had a baby and didn't enjoy that first week and found it like the opposite of bliss, like a nightmare, then if you do decide to have another baby, you might get that baby bliss because I feel like I'm having it. It's very healing. It's very nice. It's so lovely. Oh, I can't even use words to describe how lovely it's just like <laughs> Good morning, day two, postpartum, so it's Tuesday. I'm cracking out the tracky bottoms. Oh, I've never felt better. And now I'm gonna go and get my nails done. I say go and get, but actually Chloe has very kindly come to the house to do it for me, so I can hear my baby crying as well. Da da da, here she is. It's your favorite cameo. It's <laughs> Chloe doing a home visit. Yes. Now Chloe. Regardless of the fact that everyone's most excited that Pearl's been born this week, I think the second most exciting thing in this entire vlog is what is your 2018 New Year's resolution? To eat less meat. Eat less, so how much less meat? Well, I'm gonna have at least one to two veggie days a week. Okay, okay, so every time I see you, I'm gonna ask how you're done. Yeah, I've been, it's veggie day today. Veggie day, okay. Yeah, I've been reading health benefits of it. I'm gonna buy you something for your bed when I'm recovered, okay. as you're well done for doing something for 2017. And then if you achieve this, I'll take you out for a nice dinner, okay. this time next year, a veggie dinner. Oh, drinks. And so many drinks. <laughs> it's very satisfying to watch. It is. Does it satisfy you to do it? What's the most satisfying thing about doing nails? Is it seeing them at the end or this bit? I don't know, it's different things, I guess. The end's really good. Mm. The client's face when they really like them. What about when they hate them? That's never happened. I'm zoomed on your face. <laughs> and that's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> that was so nice to have that hour of like normality and just have my nails done. I've got like lilac again, but with a pearly finish. Um, and I've cleansed my face fully today. I just feel comfy. So now I'm just gonna go and sit down with my babe. update for you. I'm like salvaging the good flowers out of this bunch that I got last week to like make a smaller posy. I love having fresh flowers in the house. I feel like spring is in the air. I mean it helps I've just had a baby and I'm high on like baby hormones. Um, but she's asleep and I wanted to treasure this little moment where I stood in my lovely kitchen and just arranged flowers whilst my newborn baby slept. How lovely, how blissful. Life is being very good to me at the moment. So, over here, it's all clean and sorted. Um, I feel like two days postpartum, a clean work top and a bunch of flowers, that's an achievement. Let's see how baby's getting on. Hi gorgeous. You're doing okay. You're doing okay. Just before she wakes up and I don't have time to talk to you again, I ordered some things from a company called Petit Loli and I thought I'd show you them. I ordered this little skirt for Pearl for when she's a bit older. I ordered the matching one for Darcy. And I also ordered this like soft yellow jersey dress for Darcy, which is quite nice. My voice just went then, Darcy. I actually placed a really big order with them. Um, and I really liked all the stuff, but what I will say about them, if I've ever ordering from them, is everything comes in bits, so it's not like one big parcel. I've had like seven different tiny parcels, which I hate a little bit. So, um, that's my review of Pity Lolly. Nice little bits, very unusual things. Um, delivery though is a pain. Good. Right, well that's your update for now. See you later when Dots is home. Look, he's got her eyes open. It's Pearly Girl. She says, hi, can you see yourself in the screen? Can you see? Look how much she's focusing, babe. Yeah. Can you see yourself? At the time, Beth put the tooth under 
took her pillow and went to sleep. Mm -hmm. Well, the next morning, Beth looked under her pillow. The tooth was gone, and in its place there was a shiny coin. Darcy doing such a good job. Mm -hmm. Isn't your sister doing a good job of reading your story? Yeah, Pearl's listening to you. Look at this. Look at this. I've got my whole gang. I've got a little pretty cat. I've got a baby. I've got a doodles. No, that's Liam. He turned oh, into Liam turned into a cat, apparently. Did you hear that, Liam? You've turned into yeah. a... <laughs> this is nice. I've got all my faves. Minus two cats. Not that I favourite the cats. It's okay, the cats don't care. I'm going mad. Stop talking about cats. She says, Stop talking about cats, Mum. Oh. Look at you two sisters. What do you think? She's my sister. She is. I think she can see herself in the flip up bit. They're doing a wave. He's saying hi. She enjoyed listening to you read, didn't she? He really did. We read. So what we read? Yeah. Um, I've moved up a level. <laughs> moved up a level. The red, red line. Light. That was a spooky one. That was a mystery one. Oh, and the tooth fairy, and I'm on one orange. Yeah, that's Daddy. good. Yeah, as they can see, she's an orange pearly girl. And now I'm gonna read this. That's Pearl's this book. Yeah. For my little sister. Oh, lovely. She likes it to be held really close to her. Let's just sort her out. There we are. There we are. I'll go behind. There we go. So she can see these pictures if we hold them up to her. Mummy, cheetah. What do you think to that, Pearl? Yep, she likes that. Panda. Baby. There's a mirror. Oh, she likes that, Darcy. That was lovely. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at myself in the mirror. One day she'll watch this back and she'll say, when I was two days old, my big sister read me a book. A book. It's lovely. Wait, is she two? Two days old. Wow, that is really young. I know. I know. Little sister baby. Today's day three and... birth and that's the first week is no joke. It's no joke, it's hard work. Anyway, I look rough. Oh god, I've had a shower today and that felt like an achievement. Right, anyway, onwards and upwards. Such a beautiful morning this morning. So nice to wake up to sunshine and blue skies. Liam has just bought me some bagels up to bed. Honest to God, this man just gets better and better. We have had a little delivery from Gleam. How cute is this? They've sent us something. It's from a company called Baby Bloom. And I, I mean, I'm assuming it's flowers. I don't know though. It was just on the doorstep this morning. The midwife's been this morning to check me out and check baby out. Everything's fine. Oh, Liam's got it upstairs. 
It's like flowers, but not flowers. That's cool. Are they little so Oh, she's crying. Hang on a second. Oh. I love her little snorts. Like a little piglet. Sorry, I'm back now. Um, look, it's like a bouquet of flowers, but <laughs> I think little socks and stuff. That's cute. And then little bunny. That's sweet. There's loads of stuff in here, babe. It's like a goodie box. Moisturising baby lotion and cream. Little set. How sweet is that? Ah, oh, thanks, Gleam. What do you think about having a baby in the house? He says, I don't really care. I don't really care. All I care about is sitting on my dad's coat, scratching at things, playing with the laces on shoes, eating. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Oh, you're so lovely. Yes, that feels real good, doesn't it? There you go everyone, got some kitten footage. I'll film Orbit as well at some point. I feel like it's not a vlog, unless we've got excessive amounts of cat footage in. Yes, yes. Oh. As promised, here's Orbit. Hi, excuse me, if you could stop licking yourself for one minute. Why must you always go for that? Why must you? Why are you such a savage? Hmm? It's like, I'm, I'm not, I'm just licking myself. I wasn't trying to go for this. No, I'm just licking myself. And you're purring. Hello, purry purry. They don't look like kittens anymore, do they? They just look like cats. They look like big cats. Oh, look at these little paws. Yes. Oh. There's too much love in the house. There's too many small things to love in the house. It's overwhelming. We've decided we're going to go out shortly. I don't think we're going to go out, out, but we're just going to have a little drive round. I'm just starting to think, have I already said this? Have I already vlogged saying this at some point today? My brain feels like soup. Although, talking of brain feeling like soup, yesterday my brain felt like soup. Yesterday was day three postpartum and all those like mess you up hormones kicked in and didn't have a good day at all. I felt so down and so like every bad emotion, like sad and worried and panicked and angry and just frustrated, all of them came in yesterday. Um, and I was bracing myself to feel them today as well because I know that this is like a bit of an ongoing thing, like day three to five are often the worst days. Um, but fortunately, today I feel a lot more level. I don't feel like on top of the world, like that first 24 hours, the day I had her and then the day after, I was just like euphoric. And like we did that Waitrose trip and like move my hair down looking glorious. Well, as glorious as you do look in Waitrose. And I just felt on top of the world. And then the day after I felt like a bit kind of like, oh, I need to sit at home and rest. And then yesterday just, knocked me for six but today i'm like walking around a bit more um and we're gonna go outside i think it helps not having visitors so today we've got no visitors yesterday we only had um my stepmom came to meet her my dad um is in america still otherwise he would have come as well and i think the key if you are about to have a baby or at some point in the future you have a baby limit your visitors because as much as you want your date, you want people, you want to show the baby off. <coughs> Coughing. Hurts. Ooh. Um, it's nice to have a day completely to yourselves. God, now I'm worried that anybody that's come to see the baby will think that I didn't want them to come see the baby. I did, you know what I mean? Just top tip is make sure you have a few days where it's just you and the baby and your partner and just, just enjoy the day. Anyway, I'm... Um, this vlog. I'm looking forward to editing this because it really is just a stream of conscious and like 
the baby. Oh, I was just thinking as well, I don't think I've really filmed much of Darcy in this vlog. I've only had her one day this week. Usually I share her 50-50 with her dad, but obviously because I'm like recovering and getting like myself sorted, she's been staying with her dad a bit more this week. I've got her tomorrow and um, picking her up from school. Um, so yeah, that'll be nice. Okay, good, right. <coughs> oh my God. <coughs> oh, that hurts. Okay, great, let's go out. This is Pearl's I hate being changed sound. Oh, maybe it's not Sorry. Oh, not oh, let me lift it up for you. There we go. You've got a nappy on now, so I feel fresher. Is that better? She just hates being undressed and having a change. Oh. Is that better now? Where's the new one? Um, so lovely holding her is so lovely it's like holding a little steamed pudding i'm so cute and snuffly i could hold like this all day we have leave and i fight over who's holding her anyway i've got to put her in this this is our ready to go car seat put a little hat on this is your favorite piece of kit isn't it babe yeah <laughs> second trip out and we're excited again because it's the parent and child spaces will they have one this time though babe we can, well, we can only pray and hope come on yes yes oh my god this is our moment babe this is our moment this is our perfect moment yes Feel like we've won at life. Yeah. There's so much space, isn't there? Oh my god, I'm gonna fling my door open with wild abandon. It's the first class of parking. Yeah. We're gonna go to Sainsbury's and buy some butter and salad bits because we know how to treat ourselves. We know what a good time looks like. And it looks like a supermarket. Again, one day we'll go somewhere more exciting than just supermarkets. Mm. <laughs> What do you think to this coat? I think I'm going to get it. I like it a lot. This is going to be really challenging for, um, I would say most people, but can you guess who didn't take their makeup off before they went to bed last night? Can you guess? I know, I know, I know, I don't want to make things too hard for you, but if you can guess, nine glitter points to you. Um, did you take your makeup off? Yes, you did. Yes, you did take your makeup off. You're so diligent. You're so diligent, aren't you? And your skin just looks so fresh. Fresh as the day you were born. <laughs> Which was only five days ago. <laughs> did you know that your mummy's a comedy genius? Yeah, well, just that you know, your mummy's a comedy genius. Yeah, that's a fact. You can keep that one in your pocket. Oh wait, you don't have any pockets. Oh, I'm sorry you don't have pockets. Just to put life into perspective for you, it's 9.40 and all I've done today is feed her at seven and then like wind and cuddle for an hour, made the bed, which I feel like is an achievement, had a shower, put like the basics of makeup on and that's it <clears throat> because every like five seconds She's sleeping at the moment in her big cot to go in and settle her. Really trying to like make sure she gets used to being in the cots and like go in and settle but try not to take her out and like give up on it. But she's done really well. She's asleep now and I feel like I've done really well. I really feel like putting some makeup on and like putting a fresh set of clothes on for me makes a difference. I'm not saying if it's your first week get dressed and put your makeup on if you feel more comfortable in your pyjamas and bare face. You crack on. I'm never going to be one to tell someone how to do the first week, but for me, I've noticed on the days when I've selected an outfit, and by outfit I mean a maternity top and some leggings, but it's clean and I feel good. 
um so now i'm going to start editing this vlog i'm going to try really hard to get it up for my little like i always try sunday at nine um but i know if i'm late no one's gonna mind this week and the light's on in there no it's just very bright in there um so that's what i'm gonna do now and later i've got a salon appointment i'm so excited because my hair's yucky and i love going to the salon and just having a wash <laughs> i wonder if i'll ever do a vlog talking in a normal volume um, <clears throat> yeah, so it's a good day. Still hurts a bit to sit down. Still hurts a bit to shower as well. Everything still hurts a bit. What do you think? She's gone. She's so oh snoozing. <laughs> Are you going to cry? I think I might I cry. This is like the most attention she's ever had. I love it. Say hi everybody. I know, I think so, but I'm a bit biased. She looks so well. She is, she's a good baby. Yeah. <laughs> Little update for you. I feel all fresh and delicious thanks to Alicia. And my midwife just came over. Not my midwife, Jane, um, that's been my midwife throughout this, or Paula, who um, is the other midwife that came to my birth, who did my like, um, like trauma therapy, PTSD, um, um, CBT stuff with me. But Julia, who was my midwife with Darcy, and then when I fell pregnant, I went back to my doctor's surgery, and she was still the midwife that was working there, so I had her for the first few months of my pregnancy with Pearl, and she was there um, when I had the bleed and all that sort of stuff, so she came over and I was telling her all about the birth, because at about 15-ish weeks, I swapped over to Jane, so I haven't seen her in a while, and I was telling her all about the birth. Um, and it was so lovely because when I first felt pregnant, I was adamant that I was gonna have an elective C-section. And like, yeah, I just, that's what I wanted. And then I've like done a completely one, 180 and then ended up having like a very natural home birth. So yeah, uh, it, was, it was really nice to see her and tell her all about it. And Liam has gone out to the gym um, and then he's gonna fetch Darcy from school. So I am going to, clean the kitchen because it's such a mess um and get the bottles washed and sterilized ready for tonight's feeds um yeah i'm feeling good today physically <laughs> physically if you're interested um tits and bits still very sore um like it hurts to pee it stings and like sitting up and down stings and like walking around is generally okay but sometimes it's a bit like um so that's the thing and um um tits tits and bits tits are very large and sore and yeah just kind of you know what you'd expect after giving birth so i can cope with that i would much rather have physical pain than like feel mentally off because I, I have, I mean, it's different for everyone, but I have found mental illness or like mental strife or mental hardship is much harder to deal with than the physical. Uh, anyway, we can talk about that in a separate video, but the, what I'm trying to say is today, I feel really good, which is amazing because it's day five. The only bad day I've had so far is day three. So hopefully the weekend's good as well. Um, yeah, let's just get on with the cleaning. Shall I do some speed cleaning? No, because I'm not going to be even in the least bit speedy, even when I speed it up. It will still be just me hobbling about. Maybe next week. Right, Doodles is home from school and she's going to see how we make the bottles. So look, Mummy's already poured the water in. See this little scoopy? Yeah. She's having a bit of a boogie to the greatest showman. Right, so I'm going to pour that in. Tip it in then, turn it over and tip it in. Set. Well done, so she has three scoops. You ready? Let's keep that one in. Yep, tap, tap, tap. I want to hold this 
Okay. There we go. Brilliant. Let's make sure it all goes in. That's it. And then I'll get you. Why is that so hot? It's a bit warm because it's just come out of the kettle because she has to have sterilised water. But we can cool it down. Let's take a tea. Have you lost interest? No. I'd rather dance. <laughs> That's some nice dancing doodles. <laughs> How nice life is. This is Darcy, and guess what Auntie Judith made? These cakes. Cherry's chocolate orange cake. Where's Auntie Judith? <laughs> and I want to show my den. I would have brushed my hair for dinner. You look great. I'll give you yeah. a Okay. This is Jamie Oliver's hamper. Um, do you want to see my baby sister? There's her cock. Yeah. Inside it. Yeah. Look at my baby sister. She's just having a good dinner, isn't she? Yeah. Mm. It's good filming, Darcy. Yeah. And it says D. D? Yeah. Well, let's have a look. Darcy's hand. Oh, great. Thanks. Sound, cow, dog, daddy, elephant, flower, panda, baby. Oh, is that nice? It's time to take it to bed. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Are you exhausted from all that big sistering? I'm a big sister. You are a big sister now. What's it like being a big sister? Quite good. Yeah? I'm going to go and see the baby. I'll be back in two seconds. Okay. Righty Roo. It's about, well, it's officially um, 1734. Uh, so, we're going to do fajitas for dinner tonight. You excited about that, Doodles? Fajitas? Not really that excited. Brilliant. Um, and, oh sorry, okay, um, Pearl has just gone down in her snooze pod for a little sleepy pose. Um, I think I'm going to leave the vlog here for now, I think I'm going to leave this week now because I've been editing as I go and I've already got quite a lot of footage and I don't want to overwhelm myself with too much editing. I am going to do a full labour and delivery story and like run through everything and I am also going to do a separate like meet pearl official video oh she's crying leans with her though it's okay um so coming up this week so you're getting this on Sunday on Wednesday it's a haul that I filmed the day before I had her um just uh basically a, a haul that I filmed ready so that I could have a bit of time off and then the week after I'm going to do or maybe the same week if I can get it up in time um a meet pearl and talk about like what she's like and like her stats and all that kind of stuff and like all the important info and then it will be the labor and delivery story with a bit of footage from that so i'm gonna get to it as quick as possible but i'm also not gonna struggle and rush myself because i'm just gonna enjoy these few days and enjoy some of them and you know endure some of them as well i think if we're being honest the first week the first couple of weeks are it's a mixture of enjoyment and endurance. Anyway, I will leave it here. What a crazy weekly vlog. Probably the most dramatic weekly vlog ever. Um, yeah, okay, I hope you enjoyed this. And I will see you on Wednesday for a haul, which you will like because it is spring homeware. Yes. Thanks for watching. Bye.